So, I just got back from seeing Morbius. I'm telling you right now, don't believe the reviews you see. Don't believe the hate. Please, please, go and watch this movie. I think you will really, really like it. I'm not going to spoil too much, but um, I might slip a bit, so excuse me for that. But man... I didn't have the highest hopes, I didn't have the highest expectations, I had like venom expectations, like not in the, like kind of in the middle. I love Sony, but some, I, I really do like the world that they're building, I like how dark and gritty it is compared to Marvel, but um, Venom unfortunately was a good movie, for the most part, the first one, not the second one, we're not going to talk about that shit show, but man, Morbius knocks Venom out of the park when it comes to character development like if Venom has two movies Morbius has one and it's only an hour and 40 minutes the character development that Jerry Leto goes through in this movie as a character is just perfect it is so well done the movie is so well paced for the most part the action is good I'm gonna tell you this right now there is blood Sony didn't pull like a Venom or Venom 2 where they had Carnage and Venom ripping heads off and there's no blood. You got people's throats getting slit. You got people getting their torsos cut. You got people like snapping their bones. And for the most part, it doesn't cut away and it shows it. It might go really fast, but it doesn't cut away. And I just got to give Sony props. Because that was one of my biggest gripes going into this movie. I was like, I just want a little bit of blood. And I got more than I got wanted. Um, the only negative thing I have to say is, is there is a couple of scenes. I think like one or two scenes in particular. Where they're going to go kill someone. And, and then it just cuts away. Because I really wanted to see those kills. Because it was very interesting how they set it up. And then it cuts to black. They don't do that for every kill though, like they do in Venom, they've only did it for two kills. And there's a lot of kills here. There is a lot of kills. Um, another thing I really liked about this movie was just how, for the most part, it's its own movie. Until the post credit scene comes. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but the post credit scene is going to be a make or break for people. They're going to like her, they're going to hate it. Me, personally, I did not want this post credit scene because now Morbius is a part of this big big group which is cool and all but I wanted him to be his own thing like the Batman and that's not so, that is not what's gonna happen but the way this movie ends is so perfect and I was about to get up and leave and then I thought fuck there's probably a post credit scene so I sat back down it's a, it's it's structured really good but I just I didn't want Morbius being connected to these you know I'm pretty sure everyone knows what's going to be connected to, but I'm not going to say. Um, all around, character development is amazing. It is so good. The relationship between Jared Leto and all the other cast members, like the actors and their characters, they bounce off each other so good. The emotions here, there is a bit of jokes, not forced whatsoever. The part in the movie when he says, I am Venom. In the trailer, it's so stupid, but in the movie, it just, it fits. It just fits. I knew it was coming, but it just, they didn't if rush it. They kind of build up to it in a way, but it just fits. It doesn't feel rushed, nothing. Action is really good. There's a lot of slow motion, but like in a good way, like kind of like Nightcrawler from X-Men too. It was kind of like that, and it was just so awesome not seeing these stupid um cgi backdrops that marvel's known for that's why i like sony their city like new york city san francisco it all looks real and gritty and when there's a fight going on it looks nice it may be dark but it looks nice and the special effects in this movie are out of this world and the soundtrack is a fucking banger the way this movie opens oh man the music in this movie is amazing. Just like the trailer. It's amazing. So this movie's getting review bombed a lot. Because people don't like it. Because they did a lot of reshoots. 
in my opinion, reshoots don't automatically mean a bad thing. In this movie's case, it benefited from reshoots because it flows like so good, dude. It's it's amazing how good it flows together. Every scene after scene, everything makes sense. And at the end of the movie, the motivations, everything makes sense and just comes together as like one big package. And you just feel satisfied watching it because you understand what Morbius is going through. You understand that he's trying to help, but there's only so much he can do. And then shit hits the fan. They just did such a good job. Sony blew me away with this, man. My expectations. I did not think there was going to be shit, but they just blew me away with it. But like I said, this movie has been getting review bombed. Every time I've been hearing a reviewer bombing this, shitting on this movie, the reason is because there's no Spider-Man or MCU references or cameos. That's not actually judging the film. You're just judging it off of stupid, you know, Easter eggs. That's not what movies are meant for. Maybe Marvel movies, but this is a Sony movie. This is a movie with established characters and motivations. We don't need all this Spider-Man crap coming in here. So, the fact that they took that out and people hated on this movie for that? You guys are assholes, man. You guys are fucking dicks. Push that aside and just watch the movie? You would have liked it, but you had to have your head up your ass. But you know what? You didn't like it? I don't care because I enjoyed it. So please go watch this, man. Please, all of you, all of my viewers. I don't care if you're a superhero fan, nothing. Because Morbius is a superhero. Go watch it. It will be worth your money. The special effects are amazing. The soundtrack, the sound design is amazing. The movie looks beautiful. Jared Leto's acting is on another level. And it just goes to show you, you give an actor a solid role if he is a good actor. He'll prove it to you. Jerry Little did exactly that because every time he transformed into Morbius, oh man, I was like, whew. I, it was freaky. I don't know how they got a PG rating with so much blood, but I'm surprised by how much blood was even in here. Like it's insane, actually. It's a lot of little blood splatters, but man, it's a lot of blood. Um, last thing I had to say, my favorite kill of the movie, I'm going to spoil this part, Morbius kind of grabs a guy and bites his head off, but the guy is like falling down, and then you kind of see it from that guy's perspective, so you kind of feel like you're on the bottom, and you kind of feel like Morbius is on top of you, and there's just fucking blood going all over the screen, I absolutely loved it, thank you so much Jerry Leto, thank you so much for Sony. You guys pushed this movie back for obvious reasons. You delayed it for obvious reasons. And you did reshoots for obvious reasons. Thank you for doing all that stuff. You know, for a good cause. It's not like you did reshoots and then here, here's the shit show it is, Venom 2. Like, no. You did reshoots, all of that junk. And at the end of it, you benefited, benefited from it and made a better movie. Because I guarantee you, the movie that they had made before the final draft, I guarantee was nowhere near as good as this. You can have as many cameos and Easter eggs, but when you don't have the motivations of the characters and all that, and they build up, it won't work. But here, the build up works so good. You see him dealing with all these patients, see why he cares, and you're with him as a Dr. Morbius for a good 30, 40 minutes before anything happens. And then throughout the whole movie, he's still trying to figure out a way to help him and his brother. So, there's a lot of good character moments in here that I just think, just get a looked over. And it's a shame because, uh, I'm thinking in the long run, I think Sony is going to kick Marvel's butt when it comes to making an established universe for kids and teenagers because Sony has just a more mature theme. I love Marvel, but their movies don't have any rewatchability. I can I want to go back and watch Morbius tomorrow. Like once I've seen a Marvel movie, I've seen it. This these movies just have so much more emotion to them. Everything is just so much better done. 
Thank you guys for watching the review. And tomorrow I will be dropping more of a in-depth review, kind of. I'm going to be milking Morbius probably for a couple of days because that's the hot thing right now. So thank you everyone for watching. And tomorrow, tomorrow will be the spoiler review.